Hey guys and welcome to a ICA task guide doing the work part two. For this task you do need to enter the water facility loot room and deliver the sign of life from the stranded prospector. So here we are at the water facility. I am actually up in the top room at the moment. But the room we're actually going to need to enter is that one just down there. The way you enter it there is actually a little puzzle to do with it. You need to pick up these little fusion cells and you can see that there is three fusion cells down there. They are the ones where you're actually going to need to drop this uh, fusion shell off to. Now there is six spawning points for these items and I will point them out. But if you want a full guide to do with this, then you will need to check out the video down in the description. But one can spawn at the top there as well as on top of just up there, up on top of there as well. And you do get two that spawn inside this little room as well as one all the way at the very top of that tower that overlooks the entire base. Now, in this case, normally it works is if you have the one that's up there and over there, you normally have that one that spawns up here. And if you get the one that I had, which is over by that room at the top there, the other two, other two are actually inside of this room. So if we jump up and we go under here, you just need to basically pick this one up it will turn off the force field inside here, throw it by the door, pick up this one, throw that by the door. So you can see now we've got all three of them. Open up this lock, get rid of this bloody guy. One. The reason why you throw them out of the room is because after a while, as you can see, the door does actually close. One, two, three, four. So now we can throw both of these outside of this area like so. We did just cause an awful lot amount of noise. So I am actually just going to get myself up and then slowly drag those um, fuel generators over to the point. When you are running with these, you can actually shift and run with them. So you don't just have to walk like a person who's out in the open. But of course, doing this does actually expose you. So make sure you keep your head on a swivel when you are actually running these. So here we go. Here's the final one. It's all powered. Unlock the door. And now you are inside of the area. So if someone decides to actually come along and pick up one of those, it doesn't actually matter because you do have one of those deadlocks. But in the back here, this is the actual picture that you're going to need to pick up. Once you pick it up, make sure you actually stick it up your bum because you do actually need this to extra. So once you've entered the water loop room itself, it doesn't actually matter if you die. You just need to make sure that you get that and then hand it over to the ICA. And of course, don't forget to loot the entire room as they do actually have gun parts as well as some decent healing. I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out the Twitch channel. I do stream every single day over on twitch.tv slash piranha. I do start from 10 p.m. GMT, which is around about 5 p.m. EST. Also guys, if you'd like some help on the cycle, check out the cyclehelpline.com that will send you over to our Discord where we do have a giant team of people who are willing to help you. Huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters over on patreon.com slash piranha TV. And a special thank you to Mr. IR Bribe, Justin ASDF, Freddy and Beansy for your continued support.